I assume all of you have been students at some point in your life. Well, according to, to a study, at least 60% of students admitted plagiarizing at least once in their lifetime. And 80% of educators are so concerned by, by this problem that they're willing to pay money to resolve this. So this is where Unicheck comes. Uh, Unicheck is a plagiarism detection solution which was uh, specifically designed for educational industry. And it basically solves the problems of both sides. It helps educators to maintain high level of education in their institution. And it helps students to make sure that their writing is original and to make sure that they cited and referenced everything properly. Uh, the market for plagiarism detection software is pretty impressive and it keeps growing. By 2020, uh, it's expected to grow, the number of students is expected to grow by 15%. And the total value of the market is estimated at $1.6 billion. And there are several reasons for that. One of that is that uh, there's a global trend of switching towards online learning. Uh, also, more and more institutions are using learning management system to manage the educational process. And uh, the third big reason is the fact that government becomes aware, aware of this problem. Government becomes concerned about academic integrity. So they're willing to work with companies like us to maintain academic integrity. Uh, for example, this year we have signed a memorandum with the Ministry of Education of Ukraine. So now they recommend us as a company that would help uh, local universities to check where it's plagiarism and make sure that they are original. Of course, there are some competitors in the market, but we do know for sure that we have advantages. We're simply, we work faster, we give better results, and we are more price affordable. Additionally, we have a pretty impressive technology stack waiting implementation, and we have already partnered with a number of companies uh, in the educational industry to distribute our solution present through their networks. Uh, we work with B2B and B2C market. Uh, with B2B market, we already have a pretty good traction. We started selling at the end of 2015, uh, by now, we have more than 450 educational institutions connected to our, to our solution. And these are actually paying customers. And um, fun statistics, you know, 63% of those customers are high school, 27 are higher education institutions, and 10% are other businesses like uh, copywriting companies, editors, publishers, etc. This indicates that our co this kind of solution can be actually targeted for a different kind of market. Uh, and this is actually what we are planning to do in the future. Uh, with B2C market, 65% of our customers are students, and then we have a portion of teachers, editors, bloggers, lawyers, etc. So this is also a very interesting division of the product to develop, and it has a great potential. As I mentioned before, we do have a great technology stack, and our final goal is not to have just a plagiarism checker. We want to have a writing suit, a learning tool for the student, to be able to create unique content, to make sure it's referenced correctly, to check it for grammar, to have everything in one, to have a solution that will, would help to improve the quality of education. Um, our plans for the next five years are quite impressive, but for now, for the next year, we need about $1.5 million to be able to boost our marketing campaign and to start to have a physical presence in the United States because this is actually our main market at, at the moment. Yeah, and this is our great team. Uh, you know, all of them have, most of them have been with the project from the very beginning. So, yeah, this is it. Thank you. <laughs> you are looking for a certain extensive amount of money. Yes. Have you been funded before? No, we haven't. So this is the first round? Yes. Half a million and a half. Amazing. Yes. Why so much money? Uh, well, to be, well, we know that we have a great technology-wise, but we need to be able to deliver that message to everyone else. And since, since we're targeting American market in particular, the marketing campaign, uh, an aggressive marketing campaign in that market would cost a lot. And additionally, we do want to have a physical presence, at least small physical presence in the United States as well, because we do work with a number of governmental educational institutions, and for them, it's, all, it's often a very important point to have a physical company that is physically present there. What is the valuation then? Well, <laughs> we still we want to have our internal valuation done, but at this point, we would say about 20 million. Wait. Point, yes. Well, I know it's quite ambitious, but we, we've done right. that. 
<laughs> it's super ambitious. We've yeah. done that based on the previous uh, similar on, on our competitors' uh, exits and what they have been receiving for the database of their clients they have, and we compared that with our current database of clients. So this is our internal, but we are still looking forward to have an external evaluation of the company to have an external opinion. There is a simple answer because we need. Yes. Can your algorithms be used to retract uh, audio and video players? Uh, not at the moment. We, we know that there is a big demand for that as well, and we are definitely considering this for the future, but not at the moment. Thank you. They all help. <laughs>